So, today we're going to be talking about Paul Zimmer, who was a popular creator on the app Musical.ly before it got turned into TikTok. He was best known for his cringy Musical.ly's and his relationship with Jamie Rose, who was also another popular creator on Musical.ly. Well, tell me I'm beautiful! Do you know what that means? I always win. This just can't fuck with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these are expensive. Excuse me, sir. Are you okay? You look like you're having a seizure. I was just dancing. Anyways, he got into a scandal eventually. If you guys have been around since Musical.ly days, you know they had another app called Lively. Lively is what it sounds like. People did live streams on it through Musical.ly. Paul Zimmer was always live streaming, and of course, Lively had options for the viewers to send boosts or gifts. So Paul was always asking for his followers to send him these things. The problem is you need coins to do it, which of course costs real money. Here is a video of him practically begging kids to send him these gifts. Check out your music piece and make sure you guys are blowing it up with those likes right now. So here we go. We'll react to um, Maggie first because Maggie sent in the first stab reel. Ooh, Maggie, you are so cute. I was watching your music piece earlier, I think. Basically, he claimed he would react to your music piece while he was live streaming. On Lively, there were leaderboards, so the more gifts you sent, the higher up you got. Dang, you guys should go ahead and check her out. She sent in a dab reel, which gets you an instant reaction to your music these. If you guys want to check her out, click right here on the top contributor. She is number one right now. So yeah, click right here and click number one if you guys want to go ahead and check her out. Bam! And thank you so much to Cecilia for the shkr the I am very rich gift. Freya with the I am very rich gift. Also, you guys are amazing. Blowing it up with so many of the gifts. Remember, guys, you can send in one of the dab reels or five of the I am very rich gifts. Either one, and I'll react to your guys' music. These thank you, Freya, for the nay nay. The emoji in the emoji game is going to be the cool emoji. To be honest, what is he even saying in that? But that is basically how his live streams would go, he would beg for gifts and likes. The issue is that he had a really young fan base, so most of them had a parent's credit card connected to their device, meaning kids thought it was fine to buy hundreds of dollars worth of coins to send virtual gifts to Paul. He would allegedly say, I'm giving out my phone number to people who do this and this, and of course, kids would believe it but never get anything in return. He also allegedly claimed he would do a duet with someone but then never do it and just take their gifts and money. Plus, he would like people's musicallys and then reportedly unlike them a few days later. This caused a lot of people to dislike Paul because many accused him of being a scammer. The hashtag ban Paul Zimmer became popular. It's still there, but you can't see the videos to it anymore. At some point in maybe 2017 or 2018, Jamie and Paul got married. But shortly after, they deactivated their accounts and disappeared completely. Their accounts are now deleted and there's no trace of them on any social media. Until someone found him online. He's now under the name Troy Becker on IMDb. If you didn't know, that's like an acting website. This is what his profile looks like now. Tell me this isn't Paul Zimmer, guys. It's literally the same. And if you look, it says he was born December 20th, 2000 in Oceanside, California. And if you go onto the website Famous Birthdays, it shows that he was born 1995 in Maryland. And look at his face compared to his IMDb. It's literally the same, guys. So if you go onto his photo gallery, there's literally one picture on there, which I find really weird. And then you can click on his website. 
And when you get to his website, it's just that one picture as his homepage, okay? And if you click on real, then there is this acting clip of him and it's linked to this YouTube channel. If you click on his YouTube channel, it brings you to his Troy Becker YouTube channel, except he has no videos on there because he had put that video on unlisted so no one could find it. And what's funny is if you go to the discussion tab, there's already a few comments claiming that he is Paul Zimmer. So that's kind of interesting to me. Now, if you look at this acting clip, just watch. Sorry, I'm not a good skier. You didn't offer to teach me. I'm supposed to be sweet to you after you didn't sit with me on the bus? Shouldn't you be thanking me? I have a feeling Jamie is the one speaking in the background. Now, if you go to his bio on the website, it says that he was American, born in Oceanside, California, and that he's been taking acting classes from this guy named Brad Heller. He recently moved to Los Angeles, which isn't true because if this is Paul Zimmer, he's been in Los Angeles for years now. So I found this guy, Brad Heller's Instagram, and I know it's him because of the followers, and it literally says in the bio that he is in acting school. So if you scroll down, here is Paul Zimmer. Like that's literally Paul Zimmer. And what's sketchy is that he uses the hashtag Troy Becker and the hashtag Paul Zimmer. Like who does that? If that's not Paul Zimmer, then that makes no sense. But here's more that literally blew my mind. This is literally Jamie. Like that's Jamie and Paul Zimmer. So what? Here's another picture of Jamie and Paul Zimmer. Hey guys, I'm Troy. Tell me that isn't Paul Zimmer. So I've been working with Brad for the past year now. And originally when I found him on YouTube, I saw that he had a really cool, interesting approach to acting, which was... Uh Other than that, no one really knows what happened to Paul Zimmer. I just found out that he was a part of this YouTube channel called Exclamation Point YouTube with his best friend Danny of like over 12 years. But his most recent YouTube videos are really just Danny explaining that he has no contact with Paul anymore and that he's left the YouTube channel. People wonder if he was Troy Becker in the first place and Paul Zimmer was a fake name or the other way around. Either way, it seems like him and Jamie want to keep a super low- 